Hey guys, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have Willow Nook second box. So we did like their winter spring box last time. Loved it, loved it, loved it. This is the Willow Nook box for summer 2022. Full spoiler, I'm about to show you everything in this box and I cannot wait because that first box was amazing. If you're new around here, Willow Nook box is a, uh, I described it as a home decor subscription box last time. It is more of like a home decor meets lifestyle box. I thought it actually, based on the first box, would be a great replacement for those of you who are like, ah, I'm kind of over FabFitFun, or maybe I'm a little more mature than FabFitFun. The last box really qualified as a replacement. We're gonna see about this one. It is 79 quarterly, and shipping is only $4.99 in the US. Pink 10 gets you $10 off your first box in a subscription, and Pink 15 gets you 15% off shop orders. So they have an online shop that is open to everyone. Last time the box sold out extremely fast, but a lot of you hopped on the shop and ordered some of those individual pieces and still got the items that you love most. I have not peeked at anything. We've had a good chat through the first part of the summer. I was peeking and or looking at everything in the box. And I think we all agreed it's much more fun when we dive in together and I haven't seen anything, even if at times I'm a little bit more <laughs> lost than I would like to be. It has been so much more fun. This summer box is going to ship late May, early June. There are five to seven items per box, at least one handmade artisan product per box, an original art print showcasing a recipe in every box. And then I already told you guys, anybody can order from the online shop. Each box has about a retail value of $125, give or take. Okay, let's see what's inside. And I am really happy to say Willow Nook is giving away a pink envelope custom box. If you want to enter to win a box that they are customizing just for us, just for summer, what I need you to do is to go down below and comment what you love about this box. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and that will enter you to win your very own custom curated Willow Nook box. Fine print, you must be located in the United States and over the age of 18 to enter to win. Full spoilers for those of you who are wondering, if you uh, are a Willow Nook subscriber, comment below and tell us if you got the first box and what you were loving about it. The apron in that box has become a huge staple piece for me. I freaking love it. This is the catalog on top. I am not even going to peek because it's going to spoil the items in here and I really want to be completely surprised. Here's all I can see. Okay, let's put it down here on the stool. I do so much better when the box is not up here. There we go. Ooh, let's go for the big box on top. So right here is a set of little feet, like optional feet to put at the bottom of like a vase or a bowl to not scratch. Hmm. Ooh. Very cute. I love, I swear styrofoam is going to be the death of me. The sound of it, the feel of it, the staticness of it. Ugh. I am one of those people who is a firm believer that you can never have too many jar pitcher type things. I use these not only for serving. Does this one say we can use it? It doesn't say I can't use it. I also use these for flowers. I use these for just general home decor. And when they're a neutral finish like this guy is, I am able to put them absolutely anywhere. So this has that glazing, what's it, retro, I always want to say retroactive, and that is not what it is, but it's a glazing that has depth and dimension. This is not flat. It actually has like bubbles to it. It's got good texture. The colors are great throughout. Very much of a handmade pottery type look. Here is the base, which I'm guessing these are what the feet are for. If you want to put the feet on, you can. And then here's the inside. Cute little picture. I love it. 
I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely decorating for Memorial Day. So many Memorial Day things going on. So everything is red, white, and blue. And I'll do it again at right about mid-June. Well, let's chat about this real quick. I always decorate about the week before Memorial Day, have some fun stuff up through Memorial Day. And then the idea is that I'm supposed to take it down, wait a couple of weeks, and then like the second, third week of June, put it back up for 4th of July. It never actually comes down, which I think is totally okay. That's like so much work. But I'm curious. First, do you decorate for Memorial Day? And if you do, do you take it down between Memorial Day and 4th of July? Or do you leave it up straight through? That will help me decide what I'm going to do this year. But I cannot wait to stick like flags and red, white, and blue flowers and all the things in that picture. What is this? I forgot to ask inventory counts on this box. So I have no idea how much inventory is left. So yeah, normally I tell you if this is like a hurry and rush box or not. I honestly don't know. So if you like it, go order it. Maybe you can message them and see. Maybe they'll hear this and they'll comment below and let us know. Salted Rock Bath Co. Sugar Whip Soap in Amethyst Skies. So a bath soap. So here's what I was saying. Like it's a mix of like home decor items and lifestyle items, which I think makes a great more mature replacement for Fat Bit Fun if you're on that group that's like, eh, I'm kind of burned out by it. Let's peek in here real quick and see. So I'm not going to look. The ceramic pitcher has a retail value of $23. This unique and versatile ceramic pitcher is designed to be both functional and decorate. Okay, so we can use it. Display it as a watering can style flower vase or use it as a pitcher to serve lemonade. We have included a set of four Protective felt pads, hand wash. Sugar Whip Soap by the Salted Rock Bath Company, retail value $12. A cleanser, scrub, and moisturizer all in one. Handcrafted, each soap is topped with a genuine amethyst crystal. Okay, I wasn't going to open this because sometimes I donate these items or I pay it forward or whatever, but we have to see this. Oh, I can, oh, it smells good. It's a very, very light scent. Ah, oh, it's sunk down, but it's right there. Like you can see the edge of the amethyst crystal in there. And it's very, very whippy, like very much like a whipped butter type. Oh yeah, that smells really, really good, man. Okay, well, there is the crystal right inside of there. My daughter, I have a feeling my youngest is going to freak out and want to keep this, though. That was my justification behind opening it and sticking my fingers all in it. Add a small amount to a loofah to create a luscious soapy lather. Love it. Okay. What's next? Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. Let me get it open. Listen, listen. We got to be real about things around here, right? Or what's the point? This was the item of the spring summer season, the berry bowl. I love it because I got one berry bowl, then I got another, then I got another. And for me, that's great. All of the colors have matched and or are coordinating. Also, I had two daughters, so they were fighting over the single berry bowl. Then when we got two, I was like, all right, <laughs> this mama can calm down. But with three, I have to say, I can do each of them their own little thing, and then they can have a shared item. Like, they each can have their strawberries, and this can be a blueberry. Or if I'm building out a charcuterie, it makes it really easy to design. So I have to say, where I have like 30 sets of beads, what does one do with so many beads? I like still to this day don't know what I'm supposed to do with all those beads. The berry bowls, I have had zero problem plugging in over and over and over. But tell me. How many berry bowls did you get in boxes this season? Because this was definitely the item for this season. The ceramic berry basket, $16. This textured ceramic basket functions as a colander for rinsing berries in a storage container and a serving vessel, hand wash only. Totally agree. Totally agree. Oh, my goodness. I would have been a little more gentle. Cedar Mountain Candle. 
lemon pound cake reed diffuser. Okay, I'm gonna open this over this because this looks like it's gonna be a little bit messy. It's like a dried flower or a paper flower on top. I wonder what these are made, or foam? I don't know, I'll show you in just a sec. Let me get these out so I can show you. One, two, three, four. Plus there's two non-flower reeds right here and the diffusing oils. So here is the oil and just a basic jar, no labels, anything. I am super down with that. And then look at the flowers that come on top of the reeds. So these are the flowers that are just the decorative element. And then those are the reeds you stick in the oil for it to diffuse and release. These are gorgeous. I really, really love them. I love that they're three different shapes and sizes on the cream ones. And then we have that one extra that has that slightly different wood tips on it. Very cute. And then like if the flowers are not your thing, I notice, look, you can just pull them off. You do not have to leave the flower on. And as this reed diffuser gets, I guess, old or used, here are two backup ones and you can transfer the flower if you wanted to. How cool. Oh yeah. It smells exactly like lemon pound cake. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So would you put this, since it's a food smelling item, lemon pound cake, would you put this in the kitchen or would you put it in your bedroom? I don't know if I could put this in my bedroom. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. I definitely could put it in the kitchen or the dining room. I think I would even put it in here. Tell me, tell me, would it be weird to go into a non-food based space and smell food? I don't know. I, I do that with any kind of plug in or candle, the same thing. If it has like a cinnamon muffin smell, it has to go in the kitchen or dining room. But is that really a thing? I don't know, maybe it's me. The Natural Reed Diffuser from Cedar Mountain Candles, $22. The Lemon Pound Cake Scented Natural Reed Diffuser with Sola Wood Flowers. Each diffuser comes with four wooden flowers, three natural rattan reeds, and three black rattan reeds. The Sola Wood Flowers are made to absorb additional fragr fragrance and release it into your space. Handcrafted item. So we have two handcrafted items. This one and this one. Very, very cool. So lifestyle box, right? Would y'all title this as a lifestyle box? Okay, there's more. Well, isn't that cute? And it can hang. Oh my gosh. So cute. What is this wood made out of? A breakfast board and knife. Board, $23. Knife, $7. The Olive Wood Experience is a family-owned business located in Germany that, exclu that makes exclusive olive wood products. This small breakfast board and accompanying butter knife are perfect for treating yourself or a small group of your closest friends to an elegant brunch. I am always telling you guys, cutting boards are one of those things that are a dual element. They're great for decorating, but they have such practical use. And this guy is absolutely no exception because you could prop him, you could hang him, and if you have a cutting board wall, this guy would look so, so cute on there, this guy. That is really cute. Okay, lifestyle. Definitely a lifestyle box. Just look, this is so great. What is this? 100% cotton, paperless paper towels, reusable cotton flannel cloth towels, stylish and eco-friendly alternative to a paper towel, pack of six. You guys, I was just talking to somebody about these and I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, reusable paper towels. And I was like, what in the world is it? Like that didn't even calculate. You use a paper towel because it's not reusable, right? Like you would just go get a napkin if you <laughs> didn't need a paper towel. And they were like, no, no. Reusable paper towels are literally, you use them just like a paper towel and after one use, you toss them to the side and you go and wash them. And that way you're reducing waste, you're saving money. And I was like, this is obviously a thing that I am just now getting on the bandwagon for. 
So these guys are smaller than I would have anticipated, but it says 100% natural cotton flannel, machine wash warm, tumble hydro, tumble hydro, <laughs> tumble dry low. It says you can also lay flat. I'm definitely not going to lay flat and dry my reusable paper towels. I am going to use these. I am excited about this. If you are a reusable paper towel user, is there anything I need to know? Like any tips or tricks to these guys? Retail value $13, an attractive and reusable alternative to a paper towel. Each pack contains six 10 by 10 cotton flannel towels in a floral design. Sturdy, absorbent, and easy to wash. Okay, I have kids. We are wiping up things all day, every day. So I'm gonna give these a try and see what we think. Okay, and last but not least is the recipe art. Balsamic and basil strawberry shortcake. Oh my goodness. You guys, I am much more of a savory than sweet person. So this sounds a million percent like something I would love. Like strawberry shortcake in and of itself sounds like a sweet shortcake with sweet icing and sweet strawberries, too much. But a balsamic and basil strawberry shortcake? I am about this. If I can figure out how to do this shortbread gluten-free, I am so doing this. So with this, it is art. So you can frame this, you can put it in a clip. It's also a recipe if you wanna put it into a recipe book or a binder. The recipe art print, retail value $18 is an eight by 10 printed on high quality cardstock. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items for $79. Very, very, very good deal. I don't know that I would call this, just speaking candidly, $18 worth of print. I mean, this looks like a four or $5 print. So I don't mind taking that out just to talk from a value perspective and say, okay, we got six items for $79. Still a bang up deal. Reusable, reusable, long lasting, long lasting, reusable, reusable. Great value, great deal, great quality on everything across the board. I really do feel like this is the adult version of FabFitFun. I love FabFitFun. I think they're awesome. I was a subscriber for forever. But I don't know, I just I, I definitely outgrew a lot of the products they were sending. They just weren't a match for me anymore. Um, and then I a lot of duplicates. I was like, I'm kind of feeling like I get the same stuff. I really am thinking, you guys, this is going to be a great contender as a replacement box if you belong to that group. Or maybe even for all true. Sorry. Sorry. I know that's a sensitive subject. Not fun. But if you were some of the people who were doing the all true cause box, and you lost your subscription, maybe this is a great replacement. You'll be supporting small business, which is awesome. And I, it says at least one handmade item. Well, we know this is a handmade item, and we know this is a handmade item. This talks about the olive wood experience, a family-owned business in Germany. These are by Willow Nook Box, as in they created these for the box, so this is a handmade item or a small business curated item. So out of everything, we only have two items that are like mass produced, which is something we've all been asking for. A box that has less mass produced items and more curation from small businesses or by the box himself. I am impressed with Willanook's box number two. So this box has a total of $138 in retail value. And they are a small operation of two women who decided to combine their interest of home goods, self-care, subscription boxes, and handmade crafts. There we go. I do have the coupon code and the URL down below if you want to check them out. We have so many more awesome boxes like this coming. These very hand selected, I went out and found the box and brought them here that I am sharing with you. So if you do not want to miss more of these beautifully curated boxes, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, let me know what you're loving about this box. I am working so hard to reach 20,000 subscribers on YouTube by my birthday, July 7th. So if you can share this video with a friend, share it on Facebook, share it on Reddit, share it on LinkedIn, share it on Instagram, share it. I don't know where you wanna share it. Email it to a friend. There is a share button down below. You literally can click it 
and it will kick the video out, you'll not only be supporting me in reaching this goal of 20,000, which means we will be able to get even more boxes, the more followers and watchers I have, the more boxes are willing to hang out with us. You'll also be supporting this local small business here in the US and in their endeavors to grow their little company. So it's a win-win. I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe, I'm going to see you later. Bye, y'all.